welcome back. Now, Beyond also has a text library and you can use that text library by clicking on this link. You'll then have a drop down menu. You'll have text for the business friendly template, the whiteboard animation template, as well as the contemporary template. You can use any of these on the canvas the way that you want. And just as you did before in the other elements, you'll click the preview. Once you see the preview, what you can do is you can then click the add button. That'll then add the text to your canvas. What you can do then is you can place your cursor inside of the text and then you can edit the text to write in what you want it to be. You can reshape the text once you have it written in. And so all you'll need to do is you'll need to use your handles and then you can move that text wherever you want it to be. What you can also do is you can change the color of that text and all you'll need to do is to highlight the text inside of your text box. You're then going to go to your color area. In this case, you only have two colors that you can work with. So you could change this to white, but the only way that would make sense is if you had a different background, but the color can be changed. You can add in multiple layers of text. For example, you can add in a title. You can change the title with a double click. And basically you can move these elements where you want them to be. Once you have your text in place, you can then click save. You can then preview your scene and you'll see it play as it creates an action. Now that you've seen how to add text to your canvas, you'll now want to look at the motion effects in the text properties. Welcome back. In this video, we're going to work with your text properties. And to do that, we're going to place our cursor on top of our text box. And when we see that text box, you're going to see in this right hand corner, just as you did with the character properties, as well as the prop and chart properties, you have motion effects. And so basically what we can do is we can change how the text enters the canvas. And so what we can do here is we can click this arrow. We can choose some kind of animation entrance effect. We can click it and then we can then save. What we would do then is we can then preview our canvas. And you can see that our text comes in in this manner. What we're going to do now is we're then going to click the exit button. We're going to click on top of our text and then we're going to click the motion path. And then we're going to click add motion path. And basically, just as we did with the other elements, we can create a motion path for our text. So in this case, we can slide our text to the right and we can make it smaller. And basically we can create an effect with our text box. So all we'll need to do then is click save. Once it's saved, we can then preview the text. And you'll see that we just created this effect. We can then click exit and we can then place our cursor on top of the text. Again, we can then click an exit effect. We're then going to do is we're going to create that exit effect. And in this case, we're going to click the wipe command and then we're going to wipe to the right. And basically we're then going to save. Then once we have all of our text, the way we want it, we can then preview our text and you'll see that the text then wipes to the right and goes off the screen. Welcome back. Now some elements that you want to be specifically aware of are going to be your scene transitions. And when you're moving between templates and scenes, what you can do is you can use an element in your toolbar that is a scene transition. Now in order to show you the scene transition, we're going to shorten up one of the scenes. And basically when we place our cursor on top of the scene, you're going to notice that there's going to be a scene transition element enabled. 
what that will do is that will set the scene transition at the very beginning of that frame. So for example, if we were to click the scene transition, and in this case, we're going to remove the existing scene transition. We're going to go back inside the scene transition and we're going to use a zoom scene transition. And then that's going to be for the first scene. And you're going to notice that at the very beginning of the scene, we're going to do the same scene transition here for the second scene. And what we're going to do is we're going to place our cursor on top of that scene. We're then going to click on scene transition. We're going to click on this scene transition again, and then we're going to use the same transition. And basically what we're doing is we are using these elements in order to give variety between the scenes. So we're going to do right now is we're then going to click the preview scene. And so now you've seen both scenes and how they transition from one to the other at the very beginning of the scene when you use the scene transition element. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.